Hey, it's Andrew here. Welcome back to my channel where we talk about social security changes, the next two stimulus packages, and daily news updates as well. California is planning to send an extra round of stimulus checks, including a $600 check for adults and an additional $500 for people who have children. Now, we're going to discuss the details in this video, as well as the fact that the White House has directly responded to California's plan to approve more stimulus, and a lot of experts Experts are saying that this puts pressure on the White House to approve a fourth round of nationwide stimulus checks as well. So we're going to talk about California's plan. Then we're going to cover how exactly the White House responded, as well as a quick update on social security changes as well. We do expect a massive COLA increase in 2022, as high as 4.5%. Let's discuss the details in this video. But before we do, don't forget to like this video and subscribe. I also have a second channel, so if you guys could do me a huge favor, Favor, go down into the description of this video, click the link for my second channel and subscribe to that. It truly goes a long way in supporting my work. Okay, Californians might get an extra $600 stimulus check. And this is honestly basically a 99% certainty because Governor Newsom wants these checks to be approved. And he wants to approve this for basically 80% of Californians. If you make between $30,000 and $75,000, you would qualify for that extra $600 stimulus check. And if you have a child, you would get an extra $500 on top of that, adding up to $1,100. Now, one thing that I want to point out is that this says between $30,000 and $75,000 in income. So that leads me to believe that if you make less than that, you're not going to get this stimulus check. Now, the details are still not yet set in stone, but personally, that kind of is a red flag to me. So that is not a good sign. However, the fact that we do have California basically pushing for a fourth round of checks overall is good news and is putting pressure on the White House to approve more stimulus checks as well. Of course, all of this is coming as Governor Newsom's election is up for recall. Now, most of you know that a lot of people don't like Governor Newsom, and let me know your thoughts on Newsom in the comments below. But so many people actually signed a petition that his election is being recalled. And now with this recall happening, Governor Newsom is really being gung-ho about approving more stimulus. Now, whether or not he's doing this sincerely to really help the people or he's doing this to benefit himself politically, either way, the fact that we have a fourth round of stimulus checks being proposed is really, really good news for millions of people who really need the help. Now, let's take a look and watch a sound clip from Governor Newsom, his plans for a fourth round of stimulus checks, and then we're going to see exactly how the White House responded and whether or not they're leaning towards approving a fourth round of checks as well. Today, we're announcing a $75.7 billion budget surplus. I'll repeat that because uh, only three people apparently heard it. Uh, this time last year, we announced a $54.3 billion projected shortfall. Today, we are announcing a projected $75.7 billion budget surplus. It's a remarkable turnaround. We talked about California coming back. I made the point at the State of the State a number of months ago, California is not coming back. California is going to come roaring back. $75.7 billion operating budget surplus. Today, we're announcing $12 billion tax rebate to the people of the state of California, earning up to $75,000. Let me put that in perspective. That tax rebate will impact just shy of 80% of all tax filers will get a direct stimulus check, will get a direct relief payment because of this announcement. Two-thirds of all Californians will benefit from this stimulus. We're very mindful that that stimulus alone of $600, $500 for families with children and those I-10 filers uh, is not enough to address the stress, the anxiety over the course of the last year plus in this pandemic-induced recession. And that's why today we'll be announcing our desire, our plan to double the rental assistance in the state of California with the goal of getting 100 percent of all the back rent paid and provide 100 percent support over the next few months to renters that have been directly impacted by this pandemic. Five point two billion dollars we're putting up to take care of rent payments. This is all on the basis 
of the recovery that California is already experiencing. It's on the basis of the revenue that's coming in in historic terms in the state of California. And that's because we are defeating and we are successfully applying strategies to address this pandemic. Okay, so nothing yet set in stone, but with Governor Newsom pushing for another round of checks, it is basically a 99% certainty that California will get another round of checks. He also mentioned that he wants to double the funding for rental assistance to make sure that nobody in California is either evicted or forced to pay back their rent that they couldn't pay throughout the pandemic. Really good news, and honestly, if the White House followed these steps as well, the country and millions of Americans in this country would be in a much better place. So now a lot of experts are saying that the pressure is back on the White House to approve a fourth round of stimulus checks because California is doing this as well. And if California can do this, why can't the federal government do this as well? But let's take a look, see what Jen Psaki had to say about the fourth round of stimulus checks. Then we'll discuss whether or not there might be a fourth round of nationwide stimulus checks. And we're going to cover that COLA increase for Social Security, which could be as high as 4.5%. I don't think I'm going to weigh in on that further. Go ahead, Peter. Jen, let me ask you, the state of California right now is, net, is projecting a budget surplus of roughly $76 billion, such that the governor of that state is now wanting to hand uh, to deliver checks of roughly $600 to everybody making less than $75,000. As you know, this all comes against the backdrop of those $350 billion from the American Rescue Plan being handed out to states and, and local governments. So did the White House overestimate how much money would be needed? California itself gets $42 billion out of the deal. Well, first let me say that the way that the money was determined uh, is by statute. It requires Treasury to allocate funds to states based in part on the average number of unemployed people in states in the last three months of 2020. So that's how the determination was made from state to state. So for California or any state across the country, it was based on the final three months of unemployment uh, in 2020. Here's what we still know, uh, that there's a broad uh, and flexible list of guidelines for how these funds can be used, including to put public servants back to work, ramp up the effectiveness of COVID response and vaccination programs, help workers train for and secure good paying jobs. Those are all needs that exist in California and exist in states across the country. And as I noted in response to the earlier question, there are still millions of people out of work in this country and still millions of people who are serving in jobs like police officers, firefighters, uh, educators uh, who could benefit from uh, this assistance that's going out. But given that based on those numbers, obviously, we now recognize that California has much more money than you anticipated, should that raise any questions for critics of how much money the president wants to spend on the upcoming proposals, including the infrastructure plan as it relates to social programs? Well, first, I would say that a core of the infrastructure, the American Jobs Plan, uh, is on rebuilding infrastructure around the country that we all know uh, is outdated, uh, whether that is bridges across the country, whether that is roads and railways that uh, have long, there's agreement among, among Democrats and Republicans, including some in, many in Congress, that that needs to be invested, those investments are necessary. Uh, things like uh, redoing our lead pipes around the country, which will ensure kids have clean drinking water, will also create jobs. So. What that proposal is about is about modernizing uh, outdated infrastructure, doing it in a way that brings us to the 21st century and helps us compete with China. Uh, that is a big long-term investment and one that um, you know, the president certainly stands stands by. Okay, so obviously the White House still plans to approve two more stimulus packages, the infrastructure plan and the American family plan. Press Secretary Jen Psaki was just asked, hey, California is approving more stimulus checks. You guys just gave California a bunch of money in the last stimulus package. So did you give California too much money? And should the next stimulus package spend less because of this? And her response was a resounding no. We need more stimulus. There are still millions of Americans that need help. Millions of Americans that are out of work, who can't pay their rent, who can't put food on the table. So basically everything that she said is in support of California approving a fourth round of stimulus checks. 
and is in support of the fact that people need more stimulus. So with that said, we can only hope that the White House would actually follow through on its own sentiments and approve a fourth round of stimulus checks as well on a nationwide level. So we should have a lot of updates on California's next round of stimulus checks, as well as the possibility of a nationwide stimulus check as well. So don't forget to subscribe. I will keep you updated daily. Before we end the video, let's do a quick update on social security benefits as well. Now, really, really good news for social security benefits. Economists are in agreement that the next COLA increase in 2022 could be as high as 4.5%. And this is not some pipe dream or some pie in the sky hopes. This is actually likely to happen. And this is because the COLA increase is tied to inflation. And as a lot of you know, the inflation numbers have come back very, very high this year because of the pandemic and everything reopening. The price of basically everything has been skyrocketing, leading to a larger anticipated COLA increase in 2022 of probably 4.5%. That would put hundreds of dollars in the pockets of people who are on social security benefits. And guys, I'm going to do a deep dive video on this later today. We're going to discuss in details the possibility of a 4.5% COLA increase, what the odds of that happening are, and how exactly inflation has played a role in this COLA increase. So guys, don't forget to subscribe. I will keep you updated on social security changes, the next two stimulus packages, and daily news updates as well. And thank you so much for supporting my work, guys. It truly means the world. So until next time, take care and have a great day.